Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm Swite, and today we're gonna be taking a look at... Today we're gonna be taking a look at the umbrellas in Terraria. Yes, the umbrellas. There are two now. There's two times the number of umbrellas. And that that's still two, but you know what? That's better than one. As well, apologies for my terrible upload schedule right now. I've been posting like last two videos like once a week. And that's because of me being lazy and also because of moving furniture and stuff into my room. I've had to get new furniture and rearrange my room and stuff. And it's been hard to find a setup for my computer and mic that actually works. Regardless, today we're taking a look at the umbrellas in Terraria because in the 1.4 update, there was changes to the umbrella as most of you know or I assume most of you, of you know you can use an umbrella and glide with it and that's the only thing that umbrellas did before 1.4 with the update we have the normal umbrella as well as a new umbrella we have the tragic umbrella which you can only obtain by having the clothier in a graveyard mini biome and that means that you're never gonna get this item and use it because at that point you've already defeated Skeletron and you have much better weapons to use than a 15 melee damage weapon. Yes, I just, I, I revealed it. These are weapons now. Both of the umbrellas, they are weapons. Uh, this one has 10 melee damage and this one has 15. It retains the original use that umbrellas had, but as well you can go and you can, you can go and poke things with them. I'm not gonna make an argument that this is, you know, the best S tier amazing uh, <laughs> pre hard mode early game item, but it's certainly not bad if you do find it because you do find the normal one at least in surface chests. It's very useful for cave exploration because you know, you know, there's always those drop offs. You could really just glide down them with an umbrella, although you're not gonna have any light unless you do find a shine potion. Which is also not uncommon, but it just helps you avoid fall damage, and it can also actually help you jump- Oh, oh jeez! Oh my god, as I was saying, it can also help you um, jump a little further than you normally might be able to because of the glide effect will make you fall less quickly so you, you can actually gain more horizontal movement because of that. And then of course there is the, the, the pokey function itself, which honestly I don't actually see as being that good except as, you know, like your first weapon in master mode but if you want to use it more in um maybe expert or definitely normal mode i can definitely see it being helpful but i think that only really applies to the normal umbrella the tragic umbrella it is better but again <laughs> at the point that you get this you're not going to be using it because you have very superior weapons uh to use instead of it I, you could possibly use it if you seriously just have not made a hook or have somehow not found a double jump But other than that there is practically no use for the tragic umbrella I do think that it is a cool addition though. I like it. Yeah, that's that's honestly pretty much it for the umbrellas This is just a short video because I don't want to spend uh, 10 hours editing a two-hour Long segment of footage that I usually do. I just want to get something out for you guys a little bit quickly And uh, yeah, thought that reviewing these umbrellas would be a kind of cool thing to do uh, I, I think that I'm gonna I'm gonna do something and you, you'll see it in a moment. Just uh, give me one second All right, we have a slime crown I'm going to kill King Slime with umbrellas because it might be fun. This is a normal mode world because I don't trust myself to do it in any higher difficulty. And as well, right before that, we do have another little feature about the umbrellas that uh, I did not mention. You can jump and then if you hold down, you actually fall faster. Like if you, you fall quickly, like you fall normally. So this is actually quite helpful for uh, traversing caves that you've already explored and stuff where you have vision. Having a quick glide is really nice for movement and then just being able to control the fall speed as well but uh anyways i just i want to actually test if the, if you take fall damage or not while doing this this might be a horrible idea but we will see it seems like you don't i don't have my horseshoe item on or my frog gear so if you are falling quickly with an umbrella in your hand apparently you don't take fall damage let's see so i'm just gonna test it again fly all the way up here fall Nothing. And then we're going to fly all the way up there and fall without the umbrella. 
Yeah, okay, that, that's actually really helpful. If you have the umbrella in your hand, you completely negate fall damage. That's actually really, really useful in the early game. Because <laughs> I, I don't know, I've died so many times to just falling and dying, so... Even past the point where this is not a good weapon, I can see it actually being useful for that purpose if you don't have a lucky horseshoe. Anyhow, uh, here, here you guys go. Um, hope you guys did enjoy the video. This is going to be all for me. Please like and subscribe if you did enjoy. <laughs> this is a fun video to make. I don't know, just talking about umbrellas. It's nice. But yeah, I will kill this king slime. We will be victorious, hopefully. But let's just end off the video with that.